Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Serena here. So as you can see from the title of this video, I'm just going to be trimming my hair. I want to show you guys how I like to do it since it's been quite some time since I last trimmed it. I haven't been to a hairdresser in about seven years or so and I'm probably not going to start now. I'm not a pro hairstylist or anything like that so I'm not cutting off loads. I'm just going to trim literally about an inch. So I'm also going to be deep conditioning my hair as well right after I trim it and I'm going to show you guys that as well. I'm just going to jump straight into the video and I hope you guys learn something and I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I will see you guys in a later video. So as you can see in the clips at the beginning my ends are dry and struggly to begin with and a lot of my ends just weren't curling up. Um, so I'm going to be trimming my hair wet since I can get a really clean cut and it makes it as easy as possible to work with because I can get the hair super smooth. I'm using professional hair cut and scissors and I'm going to link them below in the description because they actually came in a set. So I'm sectioning my hair off as I always do, front, middle and back. Then I'm going to work in smaller sections as I go. So the way I trim my hair is not super neat or uniformed. Since my hair is curly and it's pretty much about just getting those dead ends off so my curls can pop all the way to the end. Although I do like to keep it as level as I can and not just have like random length. So once I finish sectioning, I'm just starting with the bottom. I'm splitting that into two equal parts and taking each part and adding a generous amount of water since my hair started to get dry. I'm just smoothing it out with a really fine tooth comb to get it as level as possible. So as you can see, that super struggly end there that the hair just kind of comes out. That's what I want to get rid of. So I'm just trimming about an inch off and I'm going to be doing this for the rest of my hair and then just work in sections. So once I get around to the front section, I like to make a small triangle in the centre of that section and leave sections on either side and cutting it like this just creates a more layered and fuller look.
so that's literally all the hair that I cut off it doesn't look a lot because I literally only cut off an inch so once I've completely finished trimming I'm adding my deep conditioner just because any excuse to condition my hair I'm using the Shea Moisture Strengthen and Restore Treatment Mask and fully coating my hair with this I'm going to leave this in for about an hour So once I've rinsed out my conditioner, you can not only see how much more healthier it looks, but that my strands curve right down to the end. So I'm just going to style my hair as normal and once I styled my hair, I realised that I didn't cut off some of the ends that I needed to, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Then I'm just taking some coconut oil, my favourite, and I'm just going to add that to my roots and massage that in. Um, I don't really do this too often since I'm trying to grow out my hair, which I will be doing a video on very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.